Welcome to Mental Health Minute. As humans, we experience all kinds of emotions, and we express those emotions in many different ways. Some ways of doing are better than others. Today, we will talk about healthy and positive ways to express our emotions. If you went through something that made you feel really sad, upset, or angry, you first might need to accept that you were feeling that way instead of trying to ignore it or push it away. Feeling these emotions is completely normal. Once you have sat with and accepted that emotion, you can try several things to release your big feelings, starting with a chance to cry it out. Crying can be a good way to let the negative emotion out so it doesn't continue to bottle up. You can be alone in your room or any safe space for you and let yourself have a good cry. You can also write down your feelings in a journal, on a piece of paper, or even type on your phone or computer why you are feeling sad or angry. Writing about your emotions can be a helpful way to understand what you're feeling as well as express it. Next, you can move around to work out your emotions. Go for a run, walk, punch a punching bag or pillow, or do some exercises. This is a good and healthy way to be with yourself and your emotions while you process them. And it can help release the tension of that emotion. Self-care activities like making art, taking a good shower or bath, listening to music, or even taking a nap can make you feel better and calmly release any negative emotions you are feeling. Finally, talk to someone. You can talk about your emotions to a trusted friend, family member, or counselor who will understand and offer you support. Talking about your emotions is a good way to let out and release what you are feeling, especially if it's to someone you trust so you can feel understood, supported, and even receive helpful advice about what to do. I hope you have a great day and consider trying a healthy way to express your emotions.